I have 45 slaves working for me. Let me say that again. I have 45 slaves working for me. How many work for you? So I know you're saying, Cameron, you're crazy. There's no way I have slaves working for me today. And to that, I would say you're wrong. Through the products that you consume on a daily basis, you may unknowingly be employing slave labor. So how does this still exist in 2017? Well, the truth is that modern day slavery can be found in every corner of the earth, whether it's sex trafficking hubs like Atlanta, factories in China, or even farms in South America. This is a global issue, but there's hope. Luckily, we are more equipped than ever before as individuals to fight this injustice. But before we can do that, we must first understand the complexities of this issue. It doesn't look how it used to, but rather it has disguised itself behind curtains of industrialism and hotel walls. Though it may not be the slavery of plantations and slave ships, one thing remains. Vulnerable individuals are taken advantage of and held against their will. Currently, slavery is the world's largest growing illegal industry with over $150 billion in revenue each year. There are also 45 million men, women, and children enslaved today. To put that in perspective, there are more enslaved individuals in the world than there are Canadian citizens. One common form of modern day slavery that's talked about a lot is sex trafficking. Sex trafficking refers to the movement of people for the purpose of selling them for sex. Now, we think that this is a foreign issue and something that happens in other countries, but it happens in large bustling cities like Atlanta, Los Angeles, and New York. While this still may seem like a distant issue for most, slavery can and does happen anywhere, including Athens, Georgia. Last year around this time, seven men were arrested for tra trafficking two underage girls out of a local Athens motel. Now, we know where the demand comes from. Any marketing major like myself could tell you that sex sells. But where does the supply come from? While there are some people who willingly enter into this field, the vast majority do not. Keisha Head, an outspoken advocate, as well as a survivor of sex trafficking, shares her story. Finding herself homeless, she soon found a man that told her that she was beautiful and that he knew of a way that she could make money. Keisha goes on to say that when you have suffered from starvation and someone hands you bread, you instantly bond with that person. Now, this is Keisha's story, but it's an example of how vulnerable individuals enter into seemingly normal relationships only to find themselves in sex trafficking. Now, this is one side of modern day slavery, but sadly, there is another side. Forced labor. Forced labor refers to the, or any work or service that an individual does against their will under the threat of punishment for little to no pay. So we see this in the coffee industries in West Africa. We see this in fisheries in Thailand. And we also see this in rice mills in India, just to name a few. Sadly, this also is an issue that happens domestically. Through a study done by the Polaris Project, they found that there are legal immigrants who come to this country on temporary work visas for agricultural work who are targeted by their employers. Their employers take away their documentation and transport them to unfamiliar locations. And oftentimes, these immigrants do not speak English and cannot advocate on behalf of themselves, leaving them vulnerable to violations of fair labor practices. These immigrants are also housed in terrible conditions and paid little to nothing. Even brands we know and love can unintentionally engage in forced labor. Take, for instance, Patagonia. Through an internal audit, Patagonia found that they are employing manufacturers that use slave labor. 
Now, Patagonia is a company that is known for their fair labor practices and being a leader for that. And even them, they found that in their supply chain. Because this issue can hide itself in multiple levels of the supply chain, it makes it very difficult to detect. This means that products that we buy on an everyday basis has slavery embedded in them. So at this point, you may be asking, what can I do to help? Some of you may be telling yourself, wow, this is a huge issue. I'm not sure where to start. I'll leave it to the authorities. But let me tell you, as individuals, we can be catalysts for change. When I heard, heard about this my junior year of high school, I started Breaking the Shackles, a 501c3 nonprofit and student organization that raises awareness and support for the frontline organizations that are fighting against this issue. Now that's what I did, but you can make a difference too. But first, you have to fully understand where slavery hides in your life. An easy way to do this is by taking the slavery footprint quiz. So through this quiz, it asks you questions about your consumption habits and the things that you buy to estimate how many slaves you have working for you. That's how I found out I had 45 working for me. As someone who is aware of this issue and fights it on an everyday basis, I was unaware of how I contributed to the problem. Now, awareness is key, but action is greater. One easy way to take action is by downloading the Traffic Cam app. This app allows you to take pictures of hotel rooms that are then forwarded on to authorities. Now, these authorities match the pictures that you take of your hotel room with pictures that are used on, on online sex ads. This enables the authorities to locate and prosecute sex traffickers, just like the seven men who were arrested here in Athens. Finally, you can volunteer with local nonprofits. So you can do this and you can distribute hotlines to areas of known trafficking. You can collect necessities for survivors of sex trafficking. Or you can even volunteer to help paint the walls of a safe house. Now these are just a few opportunities that you can do to impact this issue, but you can find even more in your local communities or surrounding communities. If we truly gather around this issue and declare it the injustice that it is, we can all be a part of breaking the shackles of modern day slavery. Thank you.